Now, let's go to identifying percentiles using the T distribution. So, we already discussed the percentiles for the normal curve. So, the same thing will happen here. When we talk about percentiles, it is always related to the area to the left area to the left of the normal curve or the distribution. So determine what is asked based on the given data below. So we're given with n equals 12. So n is equal to 12, so this one. And we have the percentile is 95th percentile. So we're going to find the t value here. So since we're given with the 95th percentile, to find this alpha here, all we need to do is uh, first is to convert this one. When we say 95th percentile, this is 0.95. Okay, just divide that by 1 by 100% uh, or by 100. So 0 0.95. So therefore, our alpha can be found using 1 minus 0.95. So therefore, our alpha here is 0.05. So, therefore, we have T.05, comma, degrees of freedom is N minus 1. So, we have 12 minus 1. So, we have 11. So, 11. 11. So, this is wrong, the first part. So, actually, it's 11. So, this one. So, 11 and... 0 0.05. 0 0.05 is this one. So, the answer is 1.796. 1 1.796. Okay. So, number 2. The degrees of freedom is 15. And the percentile is 99th percentile. So again, uh, now for number 2, we are given with the degrees of freedom. So we cannot encircle it directly. Since it is now the degrees of freedom, it's not the sample size. And then the 99th percentile, that is 0 0.99. So therefore, our alpha is 1 minus 0.99. So, that is equal to 0 0.01. So, therefore, we have 0 0.01, comma, 15. So, 0 0.01 is here. And then, the degrees of freedom is 15. So, we have 2.602. Okay, by the way, before I proceed, uh, the T values here are all positive because the percentiles given were above 50 percentile. So, if you look at the curve, the same with the normal curve, we have the zero here. The area on the left is also 50 percent. The area on the right is also 50 percent. So, this is negative and this is positive. So, 95th and 99th percentile are both located here on the right side or at the right side of the mean. Therefore, this is 0. Uh, this is positive, I mean. So, these two are positive. Next, number 3, n is equal to 20. So, let's find first the degrees of freedom. So, 20 minus 1, that is 19. So, our degrees of freedom is 19. Our percentile is 0.995. Okay, 995. So, therefore, our alpha is 1 minus 0 0.995 is equal to 0 0.005. So, we have here T, our alpha is 0 0.005, comma, degrees of freedom, 9. 
So, 0 0.005 is here. So, 19. So, again, this is 99.5%. So, that's on the right side. So, if you draw that one. So, this is 50%. So, somewhere here. So, additional 49.5%. So, we have the 95th percentile. It's still on the positive side. So, therefore, the t-value is positive 2.861. Okay, next. Number 4. The degrees of freedom is 18. So, it's already the degrees of freedom. So, we have here 18. And then, we have the alpha. Uh, the percentile is 0 0.975. So, the alpha, therefore, is 1 minus 0 0.975. So, this is now equal to 0 0.025. So, 0 0.025 is here. So, therefore, this is T.025. Comma 18. So, the T value here is 2.101. So, still, it's positive. Because it is more than, this is greater than the 50th percentile. So, it's positive. 2.101 Next Okay, we're given with n equals to 20 So first, let's go directly in finding the degrees of freedom 20 minus 1 is 19 Okay And the percentile given here is 2.5 Now, if the percentile given is less than 50th percentile so if, if that is given then of course we will not do the 1 minus the percentile this will become directly our alpha so this is now our alpha so therefore our alpha is 0. Uh, 0 0.025 so divide that by 1 by 100 so 0. 0.025 5. Again, if our percentile is less than the 50th percentile, then automatic this percentile here is our alpha. So we have 0 0.025 and then degrees of freedom is 19. So, where is that? 0 0.025 is here. And then 19 is here. So, this one. 2.093. Now, if we draw the normal curve or the T curve, T distribution curve, or the curve, we have the 2.5 percentile is here. Right? Because it's less than the 50 percentile. So, it's somewhere here on the negative side of 0. So, therefore, this is equal to negative 2.093. Okay? So, if it's less than 50th percentile, then it's negative. If it's more than the 50th percentile, then it's positive. Okay, and if it's the 50th percentile, then the t-value, of course, is 0. Number 6. The degrees of freedom is 27. So, it's already the degrees of freedom. So, automatic. And then, the percentile is 10th. So, this is also our alpha. So, 10th percentile, that is 0.1 or 0.10. So, therefore, we have alpha is 0.10 or 0.1 comma 27. So, 0.1 is here 
and then 27 is here so 1.314 so again it is somewhere on the left side because it is less than the 50th percentile so it's still on the left side so it's negative negative 1.314 Okay, and last, we are given with the sample size n equals 5, so it's not the degrees of freedom. So first, we'll compute the degrees of freedom. 5 minus 1, which is 4. Our percentile here is 5, which is less than 50th percent, or 15th percentile, so this is automatically our alpha. So 5th percentile, or 5 divided by 100, is 0 0.0. So therefore, we have here T sub 0 0.05 gamma degrees of freedom 4. So 0 0.05 is here. The degrees of freedom is 4. Therefore, our T value is 2.132. But of course, since it is less than 50%, it is still located on the left side of zero so this is negative 